Hey guys, welcome back to another All Pro Football Editor tutorial. And in this one, we're going to talk to you about season mode in the editor. So the editor has two modes. It has the roster mode and season mode. And they each work differently in terms of what you get out of the editor and how you actually need to use uh, APF and what files you need to save, etc., to work with season files. Okay. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk to you about how to basically generate a season file and load it into the editor and what that looks like. So here we go. If you can, if you look here, I have eight teams. Okay. There's eight different teams. If you don't create eight teams, you're going to basically get kicked out of the editor. The editor won't let you load a file, a season file, unless you have eight teams. So anything less, it won't load it. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and let's use the owls and create a brand new season. So we're going to go to season. We're going to go new. I'm going to pick one of my eight teams. You can pick whichever team you really want. And from there, that that's all you got to do. So from here, what you're going to want to do is save and save it to your USB. And you can pick whatever name you want. I'm going to pick owls. and save it. And then once that's saved, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and jump over to the P to the PC and we are going to load that file into APF APFE. So let's go ahead and open APFE and from here we're going to go ahead and hit load. Um, one thing I want to show you real quick is if you load only one team, this is the message you're going to see. Season file has less than eight created teams. Your season file must have at least eight created teams in order to use the editor. When you hit OK, the whole thing closes out. All right, so from here, what we're going to do is open. Um, I typically copy the files from my USB to my desktop, but in this case, we're just going to go straight from the USB content. Actually, it's going to be in this folder. It goes content and E, whatever you see here, all the way down to owls.fxg. Okay, if you're working with a PS3 file, you're going to see it differently as I showed you in my other tutorial. Uh, but in this case, it's going to be FXG. You can click on it, click open. And what you're going to see from here is a message that's going to tell you that your season file has not been rebuilt yet. Click OK to rebuild the season file. Now what this is going to do, for those who are not familiar with this, it will reconstruct the entire season file and make it to where you can fully customize your season and change your player names, change your team, change your team names. You can practically change everything and it converts it into what we call offline mode. Because really there is no there is no such thing as online mode where you can take this online with your friends. So it converts it into offline mode basically here. It creates your franchise files, it creates your rookie, retired and free agent classes um it does a lot of things here, but what it also tells you is that don't worry, you're going to get a backup uh, of your file while this happens so you can preserve the original. So go ahead and click OK. And from here, it's rebuilding everything and it takes a minute to do that. Um, not a full minute, but it takes a few seconds to do that. And it's going to tell you your franchise file has been constructed and it's been rebuilt and now you're set. So now you're basically in season mode. And as you can see, as this finishes loading here, um, season mode has a lot more options than the previous roster mode has. Okay, in season mode, you're going to get more than you had before. All right, so from here, you're going to see the Owls team. And you can see that, um, that you have a lot more options here. And we're going to go through each of these to show you the difference between season mode and uh, 
and the regular mode, roster mode, okay? In season mode, you're actually gonna get this icon here, which is your season icon menu. And in here you have your text that shows you your championship win, loss, or elimination uh, messages that you'll get for each team. So if you're playing with a team and you miss the playoffs, this is what it's going to read uh, at that point. You can basically change this to be whatever you want. And what I showed you here is the initial stages of the season mode. There's going to be another video that walks you through how to create a franchise. Um, but this video is more to show you what season mode looks like. Okay. And you have two buttons in here. You have divisions where it shows you each of the divisions for, um, for all of the teams. And you also have the playoff tree. Once the playoffs have started, you're going to see the uh, different teams in here with their scores. And so this is just a quick way to look at that inside the editor without having to go back into the game. You also have the schedule. So inside of here, you're going to see the exact schedule. Um, and we'll be talking about that in another video. Uh, we'll talk about all of these in another video. This is more just to show you that when you're in season mode, you get more options. And this one, uh, another option here are your team standings. And this is where you see all your standings per conference, division, and league. You have your player stats, which shows you all the players for all of the teams. And, um, and you can basically mix and match and sort and filter however you want on these. Same thing goes for the team stats. You have these as well. And that's pretty much the difference in terms of the, uh, the season mode versus the roster mode. Okay, so thanks for watching. I know it was pretty quick, but I just wanted to show you guys that there is a difference. And in this video, um, we just walked through a high level overview of what you'll see when you have season mode versus roster mode. And if, um, if you want to learn more about season mode, there will be more videos. Uh, that you can go look at in the tutorials that talk to you about basically franchise mode. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Happy modding, and go APF.